London buses just got a little bit greener, with West Coffee Grounds helping to power them. Green energy company Biovin is collecting waste grounds from high streets, chains and factories. These are dried and processed to extract coffee oil, which is then blended with regular diesel. Biobean's created a B20 fuel, which is 20% biodiesel as part of a broader mineral diesel mix. And the real driver for this is to make a fuel that's usable with an existing engine. So the key thing with Biobean we're trying to do is to deliver fuels that can work at scale today. And today, with the support of Shell, we're announcing the first ever bus network powered by waste coffee grounds. The average Londoner drinks more than two cups of coffee a day, leaving some 200,000 tons of leftover grounds each year. Normally, this ends up in landfill, but Biobin and partners Argent Energy are giving it a new lease of life. This begs the question, is there enough coffee to power all the buses? The answer is not entirely, because even if we got all of the waste coffee grounds in London, about 200,000 tonnes a year, a huge amount of waste, but also our, our buses use a lot of energy as well. So even if we got all the waste coffee grounds in London, it'd be enough to power roughly one third of London's bus networks using a B20 blend. So it'd be a significant contribution, but it's not going to solve everything in one go. With support from Shell, Biobin is looking to ramp up production of their coffee biofuel. And with some millions of tonnes of waste grounds produced globally each year, they hope coffee could just be the tonic for cutting carbon emissions. Noel Makugu, CGTN.